Now, once you understand how to work with get and post HTTP method, let me show you how to work with put and delete HTTP method. I'm going to just show you how to update the value of the database using put HTTP method. So down here, I'm going to create a command put HTTP method. I'm going to say route dot put. I'm going to call a put method of route. And as a first argument, I'm going to specify the route path. So here I'm going to say accounts forward slash colon id. As you can notice, this is the parameter. Just out of that, as a second argument, I'm going to specify request and response parameter. And inside this function, I'm going to just first get the id from the requested URL. And then I'm going to update that specific URL with a new data. So down here, I'm going to say constant account id is equal to then call here a number and then say request dot params dot id so i'm going to just get this parameter value convert it into number and store it in this variable just down here i'm going to say constant body is equal to request dot body so this statement will return the posted data inside this variable so when i specify value using post body I'm going to just get that data inside this body variable. Using this put method, you can specify parameter value as well as you can pass the body as well to update that data. I will explain how this works after a few seconds. Just down here, I'm going to say constant account is equal to, then I'm going to say accounts dot find. And then I'm going to just find the ID. So inside this find, I'm going to call the callback function. So here I'm going to say account call the arrow and here I'm going to say account dot id is equal to account id. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same technique I used here. I'm going to get the value from the parameter, store it in this variable. Just out of that, I'm going to get the requested user data, find it from this database and store it in this variable. And just out of that, I'm going to update that data with this body variable. So down here, I'm going to say constant index is equal to accounts i'm going to call the database variable dot index of account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the index of this of this account variable so once i have the index of the data for example here i have this data on zero index this is my first index this is the second and so on so i'm going to just get this index using this statement now once i have that down here here i'm going to say if if i don't have anything inside this account variable then i want to execute this if statement otherwise execute this else statement so inside this if here i'm going to say response dot status and call the 500 error code and then call a method send and inside it i'm going to specify account not found if you want you can specify any error here that's up on you and in the else statement, I'm going to create a variable constant updated account is equal to. And in the curly braces, I'm going to specify triple dot account, comma, triple dot body. Now, let me explain this statement first. So before I add this statement, let me just comment here. And just after that, here I'm going to say console.log. And inside this console.log, let me first print account variable and at the end here i'm going to say response dot end and save the changes now to explain how this statement work i'm going to just say here console dot log and just print this account variable just for that let me just make a put request so i'm going to open the postman and here i'm going to first select the put request so here i'm going to say put just for that as you know this is my request url so here i'm going to select api accounts and then pass value to this parameter i want to update the third user data so here i'm going to specify three just out of that i'm going to back to the body and i want to update the status so here i'm going to just uncheck the status like this and just specify here active you can notice here i have the inactive status right now i want to update it and make it active so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just return this status using this body variable and update this status property so once i have my data inside this body let me just update this account 
down here just out of this console.log here i'm going to say accounts in the array on index and specify the updated account variable but for now let me just specify here a comment like this save the changes and let me just make a request so here i'm going to just click on this send button oops i think i misspelled something yeah right here i just misspelled this account spelling account id save the changes and let me just make the request again so i'm going to click on the send button again and here you can notice i'm not going to have anything here because i just returned the response.end and you can notice here in the console i have this result you can notice this will just return the data of the third person but what if i put this account inside the curly braces like this let me just make a request again when i click on the send i'm going to have here account and inside it i'm going to have that data so what i'm going to do is i want to update this status message so as you know when i make a request i'm going to pass body to this request so as you can notice here i have this body so i'm going to just update this status with this body so just after this account i'm going to specify comma and specify here body like this save the changes back to the postman and make a request again to the browser and here you can notice i have the result something like this i have the account object and the body object but now what i want i want to merge both this object and update this status property so instead of using the for loop i have a simple idea i can use this triple dot operator i'm going to just make a combine object using this statement so what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify here triple dot like this and save the changes and make request and here you can notice this will just combine both these object but at this time i have this body on a separate property i want to combine this status and update this status property so to this body i'm going to specify triple dot like this so this will just check this status property inside this object and replace it so i'm going to save the changes back to the browser back to the postman and make a request again back to the browser and here you can notice i have the updated status this will just return the status active so this statement will successfully updated your data very easily you don't have to use any iteration here this is super easy to iterate over different object and combine two objects so once you understand how this work let me just specify here comment and just uncomment this statement like this and uncomment this statement as well and just out of that i'm going to specify here updated account so on index of this account i'm going to pass this data so i'm going to just pass this data to this accounts on specified index and as a response i'm going to specify updated account so i'm going to specify that right here like this save the changes again back to the browser and make the put request again and i press send oops i think i misspelled something i just specify here response.end instead of response.end just specify response.send to solve this problem just specify here response.send save the changes back to the postman and click on this send button when i click on it as you can notice this will just update this variable with status active if i specify here inactive and when i make a put request this will update the status with inactive and if you want to update the email of this user you can uncheck this body and click on this send button this will update this email as well so this is how you can simply update the user using put request now just after that let me show you how to delete the data from the database so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a delete http request to delete the data from the database so let me just close this terminal and down here i'm going to make a delete request so here i'm going to say delete request and just down here i'm going to say route dot delete i'm going to call here a delete method and as a first argument i'm going to specify the route path so here i'm going to specify forward slash accounts specify forward slash colon id as you can notice i'm going to just call here accounts and pass parameter to it id so using this parameter i can access the id which i want to delete so just for that here i'm going to say request and response i'm going to call here a callback function and inside this callback function i'm going to delete that data 
so here i'm going to say constant account id is equal to call the number and say request dot params dot id so i'm going to get this parameter value inside this account id just down here i'm going to say constant new accounts is equal to i'm going to call this database accounts variable dot filter as you can notice here instead of find i'm going to say here filter and in the parenthesis i'm going to call a callback function so here in the parenthesis i'm going to create another parenthesis to create a callback function and specify here account and inside this function i'm going to say account dot id if it is not equal to account id then just return all that data now let me explain this statement for example let's say you make a request with parameter 3 this will return this third username now what i'm going to do is this statement will filter this database and remove this third parameter and filter this third username and return all the data to this variable to this new accounts variable so once i get the new data i can pass that data to this accounts and update my database so what i'm going to do is i'm going to back to my router and here i'm going to say if i don't have any new accounts i'm going to say here response dot status return the 500 status with a message account not found just out of that down here i'm going to say else and say accounts is equal to new accounts so i'm going to specify this updated data to this accounts at the end i'm going to say response dot send and specify accounts the updated database save the changes let me just make a delete request so here i'm going to select delete and i want to delete this third user data so here i'm going to specify three so this will just pass to this parameter and this statement will filter this third username from the database and remove it now just for that i'm going to just uncheck this body because we don't need to return any data with this request and back to the params and here i'm going to just click on this send button when i click on it whoops i'm going to get an error message assignment constant variable yeah right here i just specify here constant when you specify constant you can't update the data of the variable you can notice here i specify here account and update the data with this new accounts so let me just change this constant to where save the changes and now let me just click on this send button when i click on it here you can notice i'm going to have the result something like this yeah right here i just specify the curly braces here this is not going to return any data so instead of curly braces just specify account id if it is not equal to this account id this will filter all the data and return to this variable and instead of this new accounts here i'm going to say accounts like this save the changes back to the postman and click on this send button when i click on it you can notice i'm going to have the result something like this when i scroll down you don't have the third id here you can notice i have the id 2 and id 4 i successfully deleted the third id using this delete statement now what if i want to delete this fourth id this one i can now specify here when i click on the send button this will delete this fourth id from the database so this is how you can easily delete the data from your database using delete method so i hope you understand how to work with a different http method in express application next we're going to understand how to work with mongodb using express